Hi, welcome to another tutorial on DubiTube, brought to you by DubiTie-Dye and Hemp.com. Today's tutorial is how to unclog a drain with sulfuric acid. All right, let's get down to brass tacks here. I bought this uh, sulfuric acid at a janitorial supply store. Sometimes sulfuric acid's hard to find. It's very toxic on the environment. I suppose that's the reason why, but um, I mean, first things first, try the snake, right? You can get that at any hardware store, shove that down the drain, you can twirl it around, dig around, poke around, and it'll come out. Or, actually the first line, first line of defense would be the plunger with a high volume of air, you know, a big bell on it, so that it really pumps a lot of air down there. And, um, and that should be enough to push any clog out, but sometimes it doesn't, so got to go the harsh route but um, keep in mind you got to be kind of um, mother earth here or the wheel of karma will roll right over you so let's give the others a shot first before you dump the toxic stuff down the drain okay now what I've done is I've got uh, an old tie-dye dye jar uh, marked it off at the level all the you know follow the, the directions on the uh, on the bottle, it'll tell you the size of drain, how much, uh, how, what kind of, how much volume of, of uh, sulfuric acid you need. So I marked that off on the uh, glass and dumped it in there, filled it up to the prescribed amount. And what we're going to do is put it down the drain. You don't want standing water, so you don't want it full of water. Get the water out. Um, you can have the water in the drain because the sulfuric acid is actually um, heavier than water and it will sink right down to the clog and get to work. Um, what I'm going to do is because mine's a slow seepage it um, it actually took way over 24 hours to get down so I'm going to dump it straight down there and quickly chase it with water fill it right up to the level of the uh, drain plug and then let it sit 15 minutes as recommended and after 15 minutes flush it with cold water because what happens is that acid if it's dumped down a raw pipe it will heat the pipe up and just disturb you know I mean it, it just cause real problems um, I mean I live in a 127 year old building downtown old Victoria, British Columbia here, and uh, man, I really don't want to be messing with those pipes. So yeah, you got to make sure it's immersed in water, and you, after 15 minutes, you got to flush it with water. Okay, so I'm going to, as recommend, recommended on the bottle, I'm going to be getting my gloves on, respiratory equipment, and eye gear because you don't want to get any of the thing on this and it's toxic i got ventilation i got the fan going because once it's down there mixing with the water and the ugh, it's going to be nasty so i got my respirator and i'm going to run the hell out of here and leave it for 15 minutes and then i'm going to cheat and then i'm going to flush it with water all right here we go all right i'm back here ready to roll so Take our sulfuric acid and dump it straight down the drain. Quickly fill it up with water. And it's cold water, by the way. There. A little more. There. Now. Oh, it's getting toxic in here. Okay, so we're going to leave this sit for 15 minutes. It's really nasty. It's getting gross. I got the ventilation on. We're going to let this sit 15 minutes. And flush it out. <laughs> 